Hey everybody, I've got an interesting uh, topic. I was thinking of a few things that I wanted to do for a video and uh, something just came up now that I, I thought about. And a little backstory to this thought process was, hey bear. Oh, I know. Um, when we got Luke, who's out in the arena right now, Almost like he knows that I'm talking about him. But um, he came from a rescue. He's a rescue horse, uh, local around here. And uh, when we put up a picture of him, we sent them a picture. And of course, they posted to their Facebook page. And they were pretty happy that, that we'd taken him. And, and uh, the picture was of him pretty much doing what Bear's doing right now. just eating hay out of a hay bag. Now, it is something that we had thought of before. It's not something that we, we didn't really have in our own minds about hay bags, but here, let's see if he'll do it. Well, he's not, he's not, he's not, well, he's not doing it right at this moment, but essentially what he's, he's doing is I was sort of cleaning up around here and doing maintenance and whatnot, uh, is he takes his, his front hooves and he punches it, bam. And I thought, hey, that's kind of funny. And it reminded me of Luke, when we got him, took a picture, he's doing exactly what this guy's doing, uh, just eating hay out of a hay bag and if we look at the position of the hay bag, where is the hay bag in relation to the horse? And we've already done our research, we've seen the science, we understand why particular things are good and why some particular things are bad. Um, and so when he started punching this thing, it reminded me of that picture because somebody commented on it and instead of being happy about him being, you know, rescued or, or taken care of or in a good place, uh, the first thing they said is, holy cow, that's so dangerous. They put the hay bag way too low. It should be up uh, at chest level. So, um, I don't recall responding or anything. I just sort of looked past it and thought, okay. But I wanted to quickly talk about that subject a little because it is something that comes up once in a while. And we will be doing some more stuff on hay bags soon. This is one of our new hay bags that we got. We went to the main event. Excellent hay bag. Um, you know, they, they last, a, they're, they're great. I'll, I'll talk about that. I'll talk about that in depth soon. But what I really want to talk about is the position of the hay bag here in relation to him sort of pawing at it or punching it and how that uh, can or cannot be dangerous. Now, I understand why this particular person uh, wrote that post, why they consider it a dangerous thing. And if Bear had shoes on, I also would consider it possibly not safe. There is a chance that when they do go and kind of bring their their front feet forward, um, they'll they'll catch the back of the shoe because the back of the shoe kind of comes back. If 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 this is if we're looking at things here, the bottom of the foot, top of the foot, and the shoe comes down, and there's those bits at the end. And if it's not one of those egg butt ones, or what are they called, egg something rather? I don't know, ones that come around all the way around and cover the hole. But even those uh, still, the, the back of the shoe doesn't exactly, metal shoe doesn't exactly come up and, and meet up. You know, obviously it's a shoe. So what happens is those little hooks, the back end of the horseshoe, uh, these parts end up catching on, on the hay bag. There he goes. Ah, I don't know if you caught that. We'll see. But essentially, if, if he were to kind of do that, it might, they might catch like this. Bear, stop it. It'd come in like that. So it would catch, it would pull, and he would pull, and he would pull, and because this line is very, very strong, and the wood is very, very strong, um, horses can tend to get pretty worried about things like that uh, when their feet are caught, obviously, and they'll pull and pull until they pull the shoe off. 
Now, a completely different topic, something I also again want to talk about in another video. Uh, Bear's actually managed to pull his front shoes off um, reasonably recently. And so that is a concern, that is a worry, but it's not just for hay bags. Uh, it can happen in lots and lots of things. These things are, most shoes are only held on with, I don't know, four to six nails. There. Ugh. Well, anyways, I can't, can't be fast enough with the camera. Maybe what we'll do is I'll come down like this and put them in the background. And if he does it, you'll see them. So when they catch that, they can catch their shoe and it can happen on anything. It can happen on a fence. Uh, those page wire fences are great, great places to catch shoes on. Um, if they've got big enough holes, they can catch the whole hoof and, uh, and tear it right off. So very, very dangerous. Shoes themselves uh, inherently have that risk of, hi bear, I know buddy. It's kind of unusual for me to be here like this. Um, his feet are growing down just great from that and uh, he's doing really well, but you know, it happens. Those, those shoes, they'll come right off, they're four to six nails. And when they do come off, they can pull off a bunch of hoof wall. If they pull off a bunch of hoof wall, you'll have a very hard time putting any shoes back on, which means I either have to go barefoot, you either have to cast them or boot them. Or glue ons, maybe. And then you've, you, you still have that, that thought of what's gonna happen next time if you sh get them shot again. So we talk about where to put the hay bag. If your horse is shod, I do agree with the idea that uh, it, 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 is, it can be, there is a good probability of them pawing at it for whatever reason or just stepping on it even, just kind of going past and stepping on it or pawing at it or, and they'll catch their shoe and they'll rip it off, maybe. Um, so what do you do? What do you do in an instance like that? Well, you obviously have to stick it higher. It doesn't mean that they can't get their their hoof even higher to paw at it for whatever reason. Maybe to play with it, maybe something. It seems kind of odd that they would go about doing that. Um, but the, the thing that we consider if they're not shod and why we'd want to put the hay bag down low um, because if they're not shot and it's down low, there's nothing to catch. There's no reason why you'd even care other than maybe you don't want them to step on your hay bag, but that seems kind of weird. So without that, without that concern in mind, uh, you want to put it down low. Hay bag should be low. Uh, it, shouldn't, it shouldn't be up high. And the reason is, and the science behind that is, is the way their mouth works from my understanding, so again, this is, it's not just my opinion, it's something that I've studied quite a bit. I believe it, and if somebody comes up to me and says, well, there's science to say the opposite, there's something that says that's not true, I'll definitely look at that. I'm happy to look at anything that does come up that's out there uh, that says no to what I believe in, um, and I'll take a look at that, for sure. And I've changed my mind many times. I think last year I was teaching somebody something, and I said, I sure hope that I don't I'm not doing exactly what I'm doing now, a year from now, and I'm not. I do things a little bit differently, evolving along. But the hay bag being on the ground has to do with the jaw, the way the jaw works when they're eating. So if they're eating more like a, like a giraffe where they're eating up high, the jaw doesn't, it's not capable of just dropping downwards. Um, and then you also have the, the sinus cavity because hay is inherently dusty unless you uh, rinse it or, or soak it or wash it beforehand, it's going to be dusty. There's going to be little seeds and little dust things and all kinds of whatever coming out of this thing when they shake the bag around and move it and stuff or just plain go to eat it and they're breathing. Having their nose down when they eat, which is a very natural position to eat from, um, which is why you want to get your hay bags as low as possible. Uh, and I'll talk about why we use hay bags in another one, but in this case, assume we should always use hay bags if we can. Uh, and the position of them is the, the topic. Putting them low allows the jaw to work properly and it allows the sinuses, even if something does get in there, their nasal fluids, uh, any of the, the water fluids and everything, just kind of makes it go back out rather than sort of sit in there or wor even worse, if it's even higher, to roll back in. And uh, there, <laughs> he just did it again. 
Um, and there has been some signs saying that uh, that horses can get those um, nasal issues, breathing issues, asthma. I, I can't remember. There's another name for it, but uh, those types of issues um, from eating hay that's too high up. So it's something to think about. Maybe, you know, there's opposite signs out there. I'd love to see it. Um, if you're worried about your horse because... Well, I don't know. Hard to catch it. But um, if there's something else out there that says no, that's not quite true, great, let's check it out. If not, I believe that's true. I believe it makes a lot of sense to me. The, the logic seems sound. Um, the position of the hay bag does seem very important to me. Uh, it's the way horses naturally eat, and it works out. Our guys are doing that all the time. Nobody's caught a hoof. Nobody's shot here, but nobody's caught a hoof yet. So... Um, so yeah, so there you go. Hopefully that makes some sense. It's just a little tidbit to throw out there about hay bags and uh, whether or not it's dangerous. Kind of caught my eye as he was working away at it here. And um, yeah, hopefully it's good information. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll come back soon with, uh, I definitely have some stuff I want to talk about hay bags. Uh, quality wise, brands that I like. Uh, we just recently picked up some new ones. This is one of them. Um, and then uh, uh, why you'd use hay bags. I've talked about this before. I will put a link. Uh, about that down below of uh, my last one talking about hay bags about eight months ago or so nine months last year and uh, um, Why it's good for the horse in comparison to other things wouldn't say it's the best um, But remember we're considering the circumstances that we're keeping horses in uh, When we think about how we go to feed and water and and care for them uh, on a whole so we have to accommodate for the environment and the circumstances that we put them in and try to do what's best so or best to the availability of our financial means or uh, product availability kind of thing so that's about it thanks for watching i'll see you guys again soon